knife, knife stuck in the wood when batoning, not good, not good. Let's look at how we can actually take care of that really quickly. One thing I see that happens quite often is individuals decide they want to baton with their knife. They pick wood that is just way too big and this happens. The knife isn't even out the other side. It's totally inside the wood. They don't know what to do. They start pounding on the back. They either number one break their handle or if it's a cheaper knife, they just break the knife in general and now they don't have a blade. There's a really easy fix for this. Even if your knife is sticking out the other side and it gets jammed up, super easy fix. So all that we're gonna do at that point then is we're gonna take a down stick somewhere, snap it like this, and normally the snap is gonna create some type of very weird looking wedge. We can then put that wedge right here, break that top off a little bit better, and real roughly just begin to do the wedge thing. Wedge it open a little bit more. You saw my knife came free pull that out and now this is wedged in. Drive that wedge in, if you need a secondary wedge, drive that secondary wedge in, that'll loosen up your knife. Pounding on the handle of your knife or trying to do anything else can become quite dangerous. So just keep this in mind, use a wedge when your knife gets stuck and it's gonna make your life that much easier. If you wanna really make your life easy, don't baton big pieces of wood, small wood, okay, big wood, not okay. This was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft, stay in the woods.